Welcome to AZH Wound Care Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and another edition of the Wound Care Window. In our effort to continue to bring you cutting edge technology as it applies to the wound care field, I'd like to introduce you to near infrared spectroscopy. This is a new technology developed by Kent, and it is highly applicable in the wound care setting. I'd like to demonstrate how easy this technology is and what kind of results this technology can bring to your practice. Here is the camera, very easy to use. We're going to go ahead and calibrate. The calibration is performed like this. You have a, a white field to bring the cursors together and shoot just like that. You then accept the calibration and you're ready to go. This is a patient who we have been treating for a compromised transmetatarsal amputation as you see. The patient is now 30 sessions into his hyperbaric treatments and he is responding in an excellent fashion. The wounds themselves show a nice increase in granulation, no evidence of ischemic compromise, and no evidence of deterioration. What I want to show you is how we have used Kent to track his progress. I'm going to go ahead and shoot a photo of his foot today. Again, you can see how easy this is. I take the camera, I align the cursors over the tissue that I want to photograph, and shoot. The camera then uh, generates an image, and we can see the image here on the screen. What's very nice is that I can actually measure the amount of oxygenation here. 84% as opposed to the duskier areas in this uh, angiosome, 16. But this is where his wound is, and you'll see the robust perfusion and oxygenation of that distal TMA margin. Let's do a comparison of where he was prior to treating uh, with hyperbaric. Here you see an image. We're going to drop that down into this area so we can see. Here's the area of compromise along the TMA incision. You can see that those areas have very, very little uh, oxygenation, uh, which correlates uh, with poor perfusion, 35%. Again, after 30 sessions of hyperbaric, this is what he looks like today. And again, you can see the sharp contrast of those images. Look at the increased oxygenation and perfusion of that tissues, and that correlates directly with tissue healing. I'd like to introduce you to one of our lead hyperbaric technicians who is actually actively looking at this technology, near infrared spectroscopy, and performing research in this area. In fact, he's recently published a poster uh, abstract looking at the technology and how it applies to our patients. Jonathan, will you please tell the wound care window what uh, near-infrared spectroscopy is and how it can be utilized clinically. Near-infrared spectroscopy is a modality that we are currently using to measure uh, tissue perfusion. Basically, what it does is it shoots um, with the camera near-infrared um, wavelengths of light into the area being studied. And what that does um, is it, different, it allows us to differentiate the unoxygenated versus oxygenated hemoglobin. There's a difference between um, the reflectivity quotients of each of those. Um, so we measure the difference between those and the computer generates that interactive image that you saw before. So I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to near infrared spectroscopy and how it can be used in the clinical setting. I would encourage you to take a look at this technology. I think it is a game changer. Kent is the manufacturer and the, behind the technology and you can find more information on their website.